Hello, my dear friends, and thank you so much for watching this video of me reading The Cat in the Hat by, who's the author? You know, Dr. Seuss. Please pay attention if you are four or five because you will have an assignment this week with your parents. You'll need to look at the um, kind of the mischievous and naughty things the cat does in Sally's house um, and then decide maybe kind of what mischievous things the cat could get into in your house, but then also how he would fix them. Um, so let's start the story. The author writes the words, the author writes the words, the illustrator draws the picture to make a book. And of course, the author and the illustrator in this story, we reviewed Dr. Seuss. Um, and you can tell that he's the author and the illustrator because usually if those things, um, if one person did both jobs, only one name is listed by Dr. Seuss. And of course, here's the lovely cover of the book. So, The Cat in the Hat, it's a title page. The sun did not shine, it was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally, we sat there we too. And I said, how oh, I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. They didn't even invite him in, my goodness. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. Mmm. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here, he should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Do you agree with the fish? Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish with a game that I call up, up, up with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all, put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book in one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat, I can hold up two books. I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. <sighs> look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold up the toy ship and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with a fan as I hop on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. 
that is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. Oh boy, what do you think their house looked like? And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house, look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. Look at the cat's expression. How do you think he feels? Let's see what his expression, his facial expression is like on the next page. Oh, but I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat. So, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. He's not frowning anymore. Hmm. And then he ran out. And then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Do you remember who's inside the red wooden box? Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. Mmm. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with things one and things two? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with things one and things two. We shook their hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is and not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame, they've come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet day. Oh man, look at the fish's facial expression. Do you think he agrees with the cat? I think that Sally and her brother, he's the narrator, he's telling the story. They look a little worried. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in the house. They should not. All the things they will bump, all the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Oh my. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump. Down the wall, in the hall. Then thing one, two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown, her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Oh my. Now whose things are they interfering with? Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, 
I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Oh, look, look at the poor fish. Then our fish said, oh, look, look. And our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she, she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. He's so motivated, he even jumped right out of the pot. So, as fast as I could, I went after my net, and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Now he's determined as well. Then I let down my net, came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. So what changed our narrator's mind? He was confused at the beginning. He wasn't really sure if the cat needed to be there. He wasn't even really sure if things one and things two needed to be there. What changed his mind? Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes, but your mother will come. She will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall. You cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. Oh my, look at their house. And then, who was back in the house? Why the cat? Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. So now is he being mischievous? How did he change the cat in the hat? And then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the book and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? And I would like you to turn to your mom and dad at this time and tell them what would you do if a some, if a cat came into your house, would you be puzzled like Sally and our narrator, her brother, or would you tell him to go away? And if he brought the things in, would you be puzzled or would you tell him to go away? And if your mom asked at the end or your dad asked at the end, what would you do? Would you tell them what happened? Hmm. And if you wouldn't tell them what happened, why wouldn't you? And if you would tell them what happened, why would you do that too? I have a definite opinion. And when you get here back at school, I'll share it with you. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.